Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> the Quran Li app, subscription cheaper than Netflix, encouraging Quran reading, modern, engaging and fun. Download it today. So Billie Eilish, I found out, has released a little clip on her social medias promoting her latest album. Hi Israel, this is Billie Eilish and I am so excited that my new album Happier Than Ever is out now. Swipe up to listen. Is she for real? I mean imagine if the artist Drake yeah, was promoting his album to ISIS. People would go Dutty. But the only difference is when it comes to Israel they are unconditional friends of the United Kingdom and the United States so they have immunity. Prime Minister Johnson bore us for the staunch unwavering support of our right to self-defense during the recent operation. It's much appreciated. You can always count on us. Thank you. Astaghfirullah! <laughs> Were there not an Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. Some people with the IQ of a dried up bogey say It's innocent. It's just music mate. Billie Eilish is apolitical. She's just promoting the music Dave. <sighs> Such naivety my children. It is unbecoming of you. Let me remind you that we are in the middle of Israeli oppression of their flouting of international law of their attacking of children. Yeah, so full on apartheid and genocide. Whilst on the other hand, others be saying, What's the big deal mate? She's just reaching out to her Israeli fans. Daddy. Well, what if during the Holocaust when Hitler was going mad with all these concentration camps, Frank Sinatra casually popped up and said, Hi Germany, I know you're probably busy, you know, killing all those people but uh, don't forget to uh, purchase my latest album. Yeah, get the vinyl uh, in your local shop and if that's being used as a weapon center then maybe just, uh, just, just go somewhere else. Yeah. No, of course it wouldn't be okay but here our leaders consider this type of terrorism okay and they've also convinced us that a bearded guy buying some fertilizer is a threat to this planet mate who not only needs to be extinguished so should his family, the country where he's from and even the kids whether they're involved or not involved but obviously we gotta cut it off from the roof. As the Metro newspaper told us obviously there is such thing as jihadi babies. Daddy. Now I know what some of you might be saying she's young she's got promoters around her but uh, that still doesn't excuse what's going on. You have people that are in control of a celebrity who is normalizing the acts of Israel and silencing their crimes and you can't make this argue of marketing because her pro-Palestinian fan base is considerably more than her Israeli fan base so on the marketing level it doesn't match unless you're marketing Israel. Wow. Well in this day and age Israel does need a lot of positive marketing seeing as in the media all we're hearing is their fight with Ben and Jerry's. Yep that's right I mean that's quite pathetic to be honest. I mean what else are we going to be hearing? They're picking a fight with <laughs> with a sandwich. <laughs> Let's not fall in this trap of saying yo these people are going too far. No the pro-Palestinians have got it right. Anytime somebody is defending Israel, is helping with even their public image, they have got to be called out until something is done. Inshallah. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.